I still think that light and lighting is the most interesting place to be working in in contemporary interior design today. My first luminous adventures were with paper lanterns and welded metal frame coated with Japanese mulberry paper which diffused the light. The demand was big but the paper was delicate and I started seeking alternatives, started playing with plastic moulding, specifically rotational moulding, which was a low cost way of getting into the plastic industries. I made lamps that you could sit on, lamps that you could stack, but mainly I was interested in the diffused aspect of the thick, thick plastic. Later on I discovered metallization and started getting interested in the focusing of light beams through mirrors and then the possibility of reflecting light with golden hues by using copper and brass as reflective surfaces. I then started looking at the patterns that you could throw using the light fixture almost as a stencil for the light to shine through creating all kinds of geometric and natural patterns. I got fascinated by glass and the way that light would refract and reflect through thick glass walls. We played with refraction, with reflection, with opalescence and with iridescence as well. But now I'm getting more and more interested by the circuit board and the naked beauty of the LED lighting source, which is the amazing modern development in luminosity, which opens up so many possibilities and potential for designers and interior architects in reshaping the spaces you inhabit. There was a feeling which 